Hello everyone, welcome to a new monthly favourites video. You know the drill, we're gonna be talking about fashion, beauty, books, movies, TV shows. Let's get into it. First up, let's do beauty, do you wanna go first? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, Why did I tell you this? <laughs> <laughs> My first beauty favorite is this Chi Chi 3D Magic Clash Mascara. It's so shiny, I like it's it. It's very shiny, <laughs> I like the packaging. So I'm pretty fussy when it comes to mascaras. The only one I've liked recently has been the Maybelline The Falsies. But I've found another one! This is the Chi Chi 3D Magic Lash Mascara. You almost dropped it then. I did, I did <laughs> almost drop it. I've seen a lot of really good reviews about these online and I decided to give it a try when they had like a buy two get one free and I am very happy with it. It's a lot wetter than the Maybelline The Falsies, which is quite a dry mascara, but it still separates my lashes and gives them a nice coating, makes them look really voluminous. So my first Brita favorite is this the Mushbox palette, and I actually got given this by someone at work because they get sent lots of things and I sit next to them, which is like really good desk study. Um, and it's this metallic eyeshadow palette. I used it in the wedding get ready with me. I uploaded a few weeks ago, so go look at that. Plug in myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's really pretty. I find that the colors don't have as much as a like strong payoff as my sleek palette But they're really really beautiful and really like shimmery. It's a metallic palette So they're all shimmers and it's really cute packaging. Are you wearing it today? Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> Thank you for asking. Very nice. <laughs> so my second beauty favorite is this Elizabeth Arden white tea fragrance perfume thing You may have seen it in one of our recent weekly vlogs where I went to the launch for this and it's quite citrusy smelling, but also slightly musky. Let's spray it. Well, I mean, I was gonna. I didn't put it on today just so I could spray, spray it for me. this video. I'm gonna spray myself first. Oh, you're just so okay, good. Here we go. It smells nice. It smells nice. <laughs> That's your comment. So I haven't really been buying any new beauty products recently because I have like a new policy where it's like one in, one out. If I buy something, I have to throw something out. Mm -hmm. So basically I just went to my cupboard this morning. I'm like, what's something I've been using like every day? And I was like, hey, I've been using this a lot. So here we go. <laughs> so L'Oreal Instant Miracle Restoring Treatment. It's like a hair mask and you put it in, in the shower and you can like rinse it out straight away. You don't have to leave it in. So it's really like easy to use. You touch Actually, it right your, hair. your hair is very soft. Yeah, the thing I like about this is like it makes your hair soft like as soon as you put it in in the shower. But then like when you come to wash your hair like two days later, it still feels really soft. So it kind of like lasts the softness. I don't know. And like lots of the time when you put oil in, it's only soft for like a day. So hmm. quite like this. Is it time for fashion? Fashion. Yes. So my first fashion favorite is this. Kowtow long sleeve top. It's a little bit hairy. Oh, yeah, it's been on the floor. They probably can't see the hair. But it's just a navy and white stripe, and it's got long sleeves, and it's just really comfy. I did get it a little while ago when they got all like the winter stock in at Kowtow because they seem to sell out really fast of some of the sizes. And I had been sitting in my wardrobe waiting for the weather to cool down, and it kind of cooled down a bit, but it's probably still not quite cold enough for long sleeves. But I don't care, I'm wearing it anyway. <laughs> So I bought the top that I'm wearing a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I can't remember, but I've basically been wearing it like every day since I got it. I love it so much. It's by the New Zealand band Ruby, or technically they're like sister label called Liam, but they kind of like seem the same to me, I don't know. But it's just like really cool like off the shoulder and it's got a little tie and I just feel really cool when I wear it. And yeah, I wear it a lot. So my next fashion favorite is this bag from Patagonia. I got rid of all my backpacks because they were all broken when I cleaned out my room. So I was on the hunt for a new backpack and this one's got a really nice padded laptop sleeve in it. It's also just nice and styly. Patagonia is a ethical brand, so I thought that was nice. I also took this on my hike around the Tongariro Northern Circuit and it served me very well. It can fit a surprising amount of stuff in it when you pack it fully. I got it on sale from a New Zealand store called Area 51. So the price was really good. I was so stoked. <laughs> so stoked. I was so stoked. I literally was. I was Speaking so excited. Speaking of being stoked, how cool was this place? I was pretty stoked when I... <laughs> Stop mocking me. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up this blazer a little while ago at Save Mart and I was really drawn to the color like it's so bright and so fun and I love blazers like I wear them all the time and it's actually by the New Zealand designer Andrea Moore and I know her jackets and blazers are real expensive and I only got this for like $30 and 
I just feel like even though it's orange, it goes with everything. I really love it. So my favorite TV show this month, I don't know whether it's the same as Ellen. Yeah, it's <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Um, I started watching it basically because it had KJ Alpha, a New Zealand actor on it, and I got really excited and it was on Netflix and I got so into it. I love it. <laughs> it's kind of like a mystery crime thing about a small yeah. town. It's based on the comic book series, but they've kind of like twisted it into this dark drama murder mm. mystery. It's very cool. A show that I have been obsessed with this month is also on Netflix and it is called 13 Reasons Why and mm. Selena Gomez actually directed it, fun fact. And it's basically like it's a very dark kind of series about a girl who commits suicide and then leaves a whole bunch of cassette tapes sending them to the people um, who are the reasons she committed suicide. So it's, it's very dark but it's just like I really like how they've done like this really honest and raw sort of TV show about suicide. Like it's just I don't know, I think it brings it to people's attention and it's like a serious issue and... But it's also like the way that they filmed it is really beautiful and it's like a really gripping story. So if you start watching it, you just can't stop. <laughs> Movie, three, two, one. Beauty, Beauty of the Beast! Beast. <laughs> I, we didn't even rehearse that. How magical is that? Um, we saw it. Speaking of magical, <laughs> the movie is so magical and great. I loved it. It was so good. Emma Watson was amazing. Mm. It just it just lived up to all of the hopes and dreams. I was really cynical about it because Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie, but as soon as it started, the music and the visuals, it just got all the nostalgia and I think they did it really well. They they kept the main storyline, but they also had new bits in it and yeah, it felt fresh. So favorite book for the month for me would have to be Lily Collins's new book. Um, it's the first one she's ever written and I didn't know but she was actually, she studied journalism and she mm. worked as a journalist so she, she actually wrote it really well and it was really good to read wow. and she talks about her like eating disorders and like all her past like really terrible relationships and it was just like you kind of picked it up expecting another fluffy celeb book mm. like oh here's a story about me but it was actually just really like personal and emotional and I was just like yeah I want to read it yeah it was really good can you get it for me yeah I also got to do an email Q&A with her for work which oh is so gosh. exciting so that is our favorites for this month we hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to our channel to see more videos of us. Yeah. That was, so was that? such an awkward hug. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, you just put your head there. <laughs> what was that? We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.